you should be able to go to night shifts. If you are on a day shift, you should be able to go on a day shift. But in terms of the difficult times that clearly everybody is going to experience, we have plans as a government to see what, how we can assist uh, people as much as we can, including the answer to your question uh, regarding foodstuffs. But, but what we would like to urge is also communities. The business community has already volunteered to do some of the, to take over some of the issues that, um, that you have said. Uh, in fact, even food, in, uh, even, uh, even food, even providing food in certain cases. But what we are also asking is let our communities work together for a change. Let people be together. Let's share what uh, one has. I'm also asking the employers, please do not withhold people's salaries, people's wages, just because of the situation that currently exists. And for clarification, the, fair, the 4 p.m. departure is not to say that you start reducing people's, uh, people's pay or people's salaries. It is simply to allow them to live a bit earlier. Some of the people that we are dealing with have helped employers for many, many years. It is time also for employers to support them the way that employees have also supported these companies. So it's time to give. This is a time to give. It's a time to sacrifice. And we all should and we all must. And further, for further clarification, yesterday, when we were talking about uh, the number of cases that we had, one of the people that we announced, we said that uh, was an American, but it has further been clarified that the person had actually traveled to America, but was not um, uh, an American, and that is regretted. Uh, CS, two weeks ago you didn't mention, actually a week ago you didn't mention that the coming 14 days are going to be crucial, especially for the authorities and for Kenyans. In terms of the progress, what are our greatest advantages? It's because we are so far one week into the two weeks, and what are, our, what are our greatest fears? How are we doing in terms of, even as the numbers are coming in, we are at 50 right now. Where are we in terms of comparison with how this particular pandemic has affected the nations and especially Europe? So are we scared? Should we be worried right now? Or okay. is it a thumbs up for us? As well, it I, I, I hear you. Um, uh, let me put it this way. 